Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So let's continue the problems in showing that they're decidable for acceptance problems. We showed that a sub dfa and a sub nfa were both decidable. Let's talk about regular expressions. So I'm going to define a sub rex here to be the set of all pairs encoded as a string, dub, uh, which are going to be a regex here and then some string here, r and w, where r is a regex and w is in the language of r. Okay, And what we want to do is we want to show that this guy is decidable. So how do we show that it's decidable? We make a decider for it, which obviously runs in a finite amount of time. So the really straightforward answer is let's just convert it to an NFA and run the decider for A sub NFA on it. So here I'm going to make a high level description just like before on input R and W because this has to match this. It has to be a regex first and then a string second in order to solve the problem that I care about. The inputs have to match. So here where R is a regex and W is a string. And the encoding for a regex is obviously going to be different than for a DFA or NFA because it has different structure. But one thing that we can do is we can just, of course, convert this to an equivalent NFA. So let's convert R into an equivalent uh, NFA, I'm going to call N. And what I want to do then is to run the decider for A sub NFA on, well, I need to provide it two inputs, the first one being an NFA and the second one being a string. Well, here I have an NFA, which is called N now, and the input string, which is W. So here is going to be n and w. And what we want to do then is we will output the same answer. And by output here, I mean go to either the q accept state or the reject state, whichever one is the case that the decider for a sub NFA says. So this procedure runs in a finite amount of time because we have an algorithm to convert any regex into an equivalent NFA, which is we uh, looked at the regex, and if it was one of those three recursive cases, then we handled the NFA on those th two recursive cases, or, or the three recursive cases, excuse me, or it's one of those three uh, in, uh, base cases, in which case we had a really small NFA to actually uh, make for that small regex. So we could actually... Uh, make this recursive. So we can make uh, this procedure uh, recursive because the definition of what a regex is really is recursive. So if it's, if it's one of the base cases, we handle one of those. And if it's one of the inductive cases, we will handle those. Okay. So, uh, and that's all that we need to do. So this runs in a finite amount of time because the regex is of finite size. The second step runs in a finite amount of time because we showed that the machine for we built for A sub NFA what runs in a finite amount of time. And so it so this step runs in a finite amount of time. It reports the right answer because the answer of whether this NFA accepts W is the same as whether this regex can generate W. And so therefore uh, this is correct, and all three steps run in a finite amount of time, and so therefore A sub rex is in fact decidable. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave uh, thoughts about A sub rex or regexes in the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. I'm currently doing one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and my email is in the video description, so contact me if you want to schedule something. And as always, I'll see you next time.